Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Cousins Outdoors. I am Briar Bennett, and today I'm going to show you how I like to rig up my frogs before I get out on the water. What you see right now is everything you're going to need. A pair of scissors. A pair of pliers. Some BBs, don't matter what kind of BBs. Um, you just get these in bulk. Some bells. These you can pick up at like a Hobby Lobby or a craft shop. Real simple, real small. And of course the frogs. Today we got the Spro Bronze Eye Junior by Dean Rojas. And we've also got the Booyah Bait Company's Pad Crasher Juniors. Today I'm going to be rigging up these smaller frogs for a trip that we're going to be making with a possible sponsor. Let's get into it. Let's just start off with this uh, Spro Bronze Eye Junior by Dean Rojas. It's got a darker color to it. That is on purpose. First thing I like to do right out of the package is check how long the legs are. Ideally, I want them to be the same length as the body. So what you can do for that is just pull them down. Check, they are the same length as the body. That is the best thing about uh, Spro. Spro likes to keep their legs of their baits about the same length as the body. Then next up, we're gonna get into uh, putting in some uh, some of these BBs and some of these uh, little bells to give it a little bit no a little bit more noise in the water. Um, these darker colors, I like to throw them in cloudy water and on dark days. So putting some bells in them, some rattles in them, uh, just makes it a little bit easier for the fish to find them. So what I like to do is uh, uh, compress it, compress the bait, and push your finger between the hooks up, and you're gonna pull the hooks out. So it's gonna look something like this. And you're just gonna turn it around, just like that. And your frog should be uh, should look something like this. Okay. Now we're gonna get our little bells. We're gonna put one or two in there. Oh, run away. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your hooks, kinda of like this. You're gonna pull your plastic away. Now you got a big old hole there. That's where you're gonna shove them, them uh, bells. Just gonna hold in your thumb just like this. Gonna put it down into that little crevice. You can rest it there if you want. You're gonna put your thumb on top of it like this, and you're gonna push. See it's still there? Just let it go a little bit, and it'll fall right in there. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but I'm gonna put one more in there. You can rest it right on there just like that. Put your thumb on it, just like this, and you're gonna push it down. Still see it there, maybe? Yep, I just let her go. Night, probably hear it. Now, if you find your frogs a little light, you can put the uh, BBs in there, and I'll show you how to do that with the uh, with the uh, booyah pad crashers in a minute here. So I'm going to show you how to put this back. You're going to compress it again. Compress it again. You know, compress it. You're going to fold this back. You're going to hold it with your finger. Just like this, between the legs. You're going to turn it around. You're just going to let it fold right back in between those hooks. Just like that. Now you got a frog with some bells in it. Some rattles. Let's move on to the next one. It's for Bronze Eye Junior by Dean Rojas. This 
This one, um, I'm going to throw on more of an overcast with uh, some really clear water. So I'm not going to put any bells in this one. But uh, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my legs, same length as the body, and they are. And then uh, I just want this to be a little bit heavier. So I'm going to put, uh, put, I'm just going to put some of these BBs in there. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to press it, push up with your other finger, and grab it like that if you want, and just turn it around. That's it. Now I got that hole like we did before. So we're going to grab our BBs. I'm going to show you guys how to put them in here. Same as the uh, bells, but actually easier. So you're going to grab one of your BBs, put in that little crevice. Oh. Grab one of your BBs, put it in that little crevice. Actually, if you uh, use your two fingers right here and pull them, using your thumb and your pointer finger, you can usually just drop them in there. And just push a little bit. There, there's one. Probably put like four of them in here. Just give it a little bit of extra weight. A little bit extra weight, and it will give it a little bit of a, a sound. Not nearly as much as those little jingle bells, these guys. But they will give a nice little noise. And it's a little bit heavier, so I can cast a little bit further. There you go. Now we'll just put it back how it was. We're going to compress it. We're going to compress it. Fold this back, hold it with one of your fingers, turn the hooks around, and let it fall back on each side of the legs. Alright, so we did the Spro Bronze Eye Juniors. Now we're going to move on to the Booyah Pad Crasher Juniors. These are even smaller. The, uh, hang on, let me get this out of the package and I'll show you. Right here. See how much smaller that is? As a matter of fact, the uh, Spro Bronze Eye Junior is a half ounce, and the Booyah Pad Crasher Junior is only a quarter of an ounce. So, I guess you can see why I'm going to make this one a little bit heavier on. Huh? I'm going to put five of them in this bad boy, but first I want to make sure the legs are, are the right length. And these I am going to have to trim just a little bit. And we're just going to cut them to about the length of the body. Maybe even a little bit shorter. I'm going to cut these just a little bit shorter than the body because it's so small. So now we got the legs cut. So now we're going to get into putting these uh, BBs in here. So we're going to do just like we were everything else. Compress it. Push up between the hooks with, with, your, index, with your pointer finger. On your other hand, we're just going to grab it with the other pointer finger. It's going to look something like this. Turn the hooks around and let it go. Now we got that little uh, gap right here. Grab our BB, hold the hooks, pull back the body of the frog, and stick it in there. Push it in. There you go. There's one. If you put too much in it, and you realize it's really pulling down the bot, the frog, you're not going to get them back out. So I'm just going to go with four on this quarter ounce, quarter ounce frog here. Flip her back around, compress it, push it up, hold it there with your other finger. Oh, come on, focus. Going to turn the hooks around. Let it fall on either side of the legs. Another thing you really want to pay attention to, and I'm just noticing this now on this one, is that uh, on on this side, the hook is flush. But on this side, it's not. My finger's getting caught on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that pliers. I'm going to grab that hook right here. Oh, come on, focus. It's 
underneath the barb. Make sure you're underneath the barb. You don't want to compress that barb. You're just going to grab it, hold tight, and you're going to bend it back in. So you're bending it down towards the bait because you want it to end up sitting flush. So now you're going to check it again with your finger. Oh, you're getting caught still. Just going to grab it by the base here again. You're going to grab a hold of your frog and you're going to bend it back in. All right. Let's check them again. This one's this one's still flush, and now so is this one for the most part. I'm getting caught just a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that. As long as it, for the most part is flush, then I know I'm not going to get caught on too much of things. All right, last one. Booyah Bates Pad Crasher Junior. This is the Aqua Frog. Um, I picked up this one very specific for a very specific reason. I am not going to be fishing this frog in any junk. This is going to be an open water type of frog. It has colors similar to like a bluegill or a sunfish, uh, something like that. It's got the purple, the uh, uh, slightly yellowed uh, body. It's got a little bit of yellow and green up in here by the eye. Um, and the purple in it. We got some fish around here in northeast Wisconsin that have some purple in it. Um, so this should be a good imitation of uh, a fish, not so much a frog. Remember when you're frog fishing you're not really just imitating a frog. All right. A lot of times you're imitating other things. <clears throat> a lot of times you're imitating other things other than frogs. See how this pattern on here has like scales on it? We're imitating a fish when we're throwing this, and in this case it's probably something like a shad, um, but it just so happens that it has colors that match uh, some fish that we have around here. Kind of like uh, this bad boy, okay? Uh, how often do you see like brown frogs? Um, probably not too often, but you know what are brown? Gophers, muskrats some mice. Um, I think Ish Monroe did a video on a frog once and he mentioned that uh, he saw a fish eat a gopher so he threw a brown frog and caught that same fish with a frog with the gopher still in his mouth. So you're not just imitating frogs. You're imitating a lot of things. And a big thing when you're buying frogs, don't look at the top. Like I know Spro has some really cool colors and designs but my main interest is the belly because that's what the fish is going to see this is one solid dark color this is a chartreuse color kind of like uh some frog bellies or even some uh fish like bluegills this is kind of combination of a couple things uh not really sure what the red would be for maybe like a wounded fish and yeah, some chartreuse in there, some green on the side. Imitate a frog. This one just looks like, like I said before, a color of a fish. So this frog, I'm going to be rigging a little bit differently since it's imitating a fish more than anything else. Uh, I'm not going to be fishing this in all the junk. I'm actually going to be fishing this frog in open water. Um, so I don't want to bend those hooks in. I actually want to bend them out. So let's start by doing that. Let's grab that pliers. You want to bend them out that direct, you know. You want to bend this one out away from the body and this one also out away from the body. So we're not going to bend them outwards as in up away from the, the body of the frog, but more so outwards. So we're going to grab it something like this. You're gonna hold the frog and you're actually gonna twist it outwards. I don't know if you can see that. You're gonna twist it outwards. So it's away from the body of the frog. We also wanna go up with it. So we wanna grab it and instead of bending down towards the body, we wanna go out and away. So we're gonna bend it out and away. Oh, come on, grab a hold. Don't get the barb. It's the biggest thing. Biggest thing is don't get the barb. You do not want to crush that barb. Okay, we're gonna 
Ben it out words. Now it's sticking up a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it is sticking up a little bit. Now we're going to bend it out. So all we're trying to do here is make these hooks a little bit wider. We want it to stick out away. We want it to stick out away from the bait, so we're actually going to move them out away from the body. See how this one is a little bit closer to the body than this one over here? It's kind of what we want. So we're going to move it out a little bit. All right, now it's starting to look the same as the other one. And that's what we want. We want it to be out so that these fish get stuck right when they hit it. Let's move on to the next part. Nope, I'm not cutting the legs on this frog. Why? Because the longer the legs on the frog, the easier it is to make this thing walk. So I'm not gonna cut the legs on this one. I'm gonna leave them long, unless I start getting short striked a ton. Then I'll trim them just a little bit. But this is one frog that I'm never going to let get any shorter than the body of the bait. If I cut it, the body of the bait, that, that'll be it. I will not cut it any shorter. But this thing is very light. And it doesn't make any noise. <laughs> so, let's fix that. Our one bell. And our little BBs. So same as before, we're going to compress it, push it up past the hooks, grab it with the other finger, something like this. You're just going to turn the hooks around, just like that. Okay, now we got that little, little pocket like we had before. Grab the hooks, just like this. So you're not grabbing the hooks, you're not grabbing the sharp ends. You're grabbing up here. Grab your bell. Put it in that little spot. You can use your, either use your thumb or your finger. Um, the bigger ones, I like to use my thumb because it's easier to push down in there. You can put your thumb on top of it, something like this. You're gonna grab your hooks and you're gonna push it in there. You're gonna work it in there. Boom, just like that. That's gonna make a little bit more noise. It'll add a little bit of weight, but not as much weight as I want. So now we're gonna add four of these little BBs to give it some more weight. One and four. We're going to compress it, fold this back, turn the hooks around, and you're just going to let the, I'm going to try and show you guys, focus, I said focus, you're just going to let the hooks fall on either side of the legs, just like this, okay, now you're just going to grab, grab your skirt, pull it out, Grab a skirt and pull it out. There you go, back to normal. Now it's a little bit heavier, make some noise. And since we didn't trim it, it's gonna walk a bit easier and our hooks are bent out. So as soon as that fish bites onto it, it should be game over. Thanks for watching guys. Good luck out there, I hope this helped some of you. And if you're ever in doubt, jerk it out. We'll see you guys next time.